Hello everyone, welcome back to the Lydia Edit. I'm Lydia. Today's video is super special because it's time for another Cezanne haul. Or maybe I should say different Cezanne hauls because this is basically the haul from the archives, but also the pieces that I've started buying from December on. Some of these pieces you've already seen in my video in collaboration with Vivaya, this one that I'm gonna link right here. And um, some of the pieces that you've seen there seem to be very popular but i've never reviewed them so now i think it's time because if you want to buy them then you will know exactly if they are for you or not to be honest with you i really hesitated to make this video because um there is something going on with my skin at the moment i think you will see this is all full and also uh, my decollete now. Um, so I hope you can appreciate the fact that I'm feeling very vulnerable with my image but I'm still here making this video for you guys and um, yeah I'll try to overcome this. Truth be told I don't know what it is and I don't know when I will be able to fix it and just not posting won't be an option I guess. <laughs> let's get started anyway let's start with my archives whole because it's very recent even if it's um the archives things can still be returned so maybe they will be back in stock um so yeah let's get started um the first thing i got is this blouse right here galena um blouse in navy blue it looks like this because i was on a hunt for an elevated basic or blue blouse now this is what it looks like on me pause the video and you can tell me what you think if i should keep or return it um in the comments it's, it's quite a consistent blouse i feel you know it's heavy um it's very thick it's a blouse that looks like a button-up shirt but um yeah it's actually fake you know it's soon in like this so you can't open it which is ideal for people who are very busty just like i am how and um, the material and it's made out of a recycled polyester um, I'm not a fan of polyester if I buy polyester I wish to buy recycled polyester to be a little bit more sustainable um, and also the fact that it was in sale make the price a little bit more acceptable for me however this is a piece that I personally am not gonna keep because it is way too basic for my personal style it drapes in a very particular way like it's very flowy on top very very flowy on top and since i'm already very busty um then i have a very big top anyway it's much tighter around the waist area and uh it makes it so that it doesn't really drape and flows on my body like i expected it to and in the way that makes me feel confident so in the end i'm not gonna keep it in 2024 i only want to make purchases that make me feel the best my best self and really make me feel confident that are really into my personal style i'm not gonna try and squeeze in somebody else's style just because i find it beautiful on a picture or on somebody else so if you like it and you think this is more for you just know it will be available again in a size 40. i also got the tamara belt i've been eyeing this belt for a very long time since it came out actually i would keep it but i think i got the size wrong and now it's sold out so yeah i'm gonna return this as well it was around 40 euros just know that if this is for you in the size 95 it will be available again on the Cezanne app and website i have another archive fine if i'm not mistaken these are the will shorts and they are 100 percent leather this leather you guys it's so soft and bouncy i mean i just <laughs> i'm just so in love this is how they look styled um at least now i style them like this but um there are so many outfit combinations that they can look great with and i'm so so happy about this purchase you no know, it's always so 
um, difficult with archives. You never know if the pieces are actually in good condition. At the end of the day, um, they are unsold pieces and returned pieces. So <laughs> you always need to be careful. Um, but yeah, these ones are definitely staying with me because they're so, so, so great. I can see myself wearing in the fall, um, in winter and in the spring. A recent piece that you seem to love from my recent videos are these pants. These are the Sierra pants. Uh, pants are really, really, really good if you're a curvy person. They're high waist, they're tight, but they are also slightly um, flare. At the end, they are a 7 8 um, cut, so they're a little bit shorter, but still um, flare. And they contain a little bit of elastane, which I think is generally something um, lacking in the Cezanne assortment. And that makes the life of curvy people a little bit better. Now, granted, when they contain elastane, you know the durability and the lifespan of these pants is not gonna be as long as pants that don't contain, that don't contain elastane, but still, for now, it's a very good buy. The leopard print, which is unfortunately sold out at the moment, but I've seen that Cezanne is styling them um, on their Instagram account, so probably they will bring them back in a restock. And it's also available in suede and um, black. I think this is a great, great fit that can um, highlight the best of curvy people. Juliette's blouse um, is a very flowy, delicate um, silk blouse. This is 100% silk and I love it because A, it's a great material, you know, it's silk so it's naturally thermal material that um, it will be fresh when the weather is warmer, but it will be warmer when the weather is colder. Um, so that's a great advantage. And I really love the cut. I think everything about it, it is really, really perfect. And it has these very cool details that make it so into my personal style. Um, you know, it has the floral print, so it's very feminine. But then it also is a little bit bohemian with the embroidery in the back. Um, the neckline in the back is also a little bit um, flowery and with embroidery. So um, the sleeves are a little bit puffy here. All in all, it's such a perfect piece and I will not hesitate to buy it in um, hot pink as well because I feel like this is such a great elevated basic. It drapes onto my body really well and makes me feel confident no matter how I style it. So I highly recommend Juliette's. Um, it's a piece that nobody speaks about, but I will. You need to get this. Now that I think about it, do you guys want me to make a review only about the Cezanne blouses I own? If you do, leave a comment down below. Not sure about the name of these shorts. Um, maybe Nila <laughs> help me out because I know you have them. Um, but this was a Vestiaire Collective find shorts made of suede um, so they're really comfortable the material is um, really delicate so you need to be very very careful a biker style because you know of the studs and um, the little belts and buckles and I love the color I was in love with these when they came out but I was so thrown off by um, their price that I was so happy to find them on Vestiaire Collective I personally have some Cezanne listings on my Vestiaire collective account they're globally available and um yeah it was such a great find and also more sustainable yeah. now i have three sweaters three knits um that i want to show you the first piece um is a piece that you've also seen in my shorts and in other videos of mine but i had never reviewed is this betty cardigan i'm sorry um but i have uh, feathers everywhere from my jacket is this Betty cardigan with the gold buttons um, and never before Christmas I felt like I wanted a Betty cardigan I mean 
You know that Betty um, is one of the most popular pieces from Cezanne, but I never succumbed to the hype of it until I saw these, you know? It's just so simple, such a simple change that they would make on um, a very basic piece that made it look a lot more luxurious like this. And I think in general, I love the Betty cardigan because, you know, it's a very flowy material and it's not itchy at all. It's merino wool. Um, it's um, also very heavy. And in the end, you can style it quite well with a lot of pieces. But um, I just, I, I think the buttons that normal Betty cardigans have, they don't make it so appealing. And just a little change like this, makes it more into my personal style, you know what I mean? More feminine um, and luxurious. Um, if I ever get another Betty Cardigan, I will definitely change the buttons um, because they're, they're so much better like this. The Betty Cardigan is actually a piece that you want to get in your actual size. I size down for this one and I have to say that um, it, it looks cropped on me and I like it personally, but I can't wear it um, with the sleeves rolled like it's meant to be worn because otherwise the sleeves are too short for me. And then I have two berry cardigans as well. Um, so the berry cardigan is like um, the Gaspar um, cousin, I would say, or brother. <laughs> it's made of super kid mohair, 37% super kid mohair, 37% baby alpaca, and 26% um, polyamide polyamide, polyamide, I, I never know how to read it. Um, but anyway, it's a really a nice blend. Um, it's very warm and it has these very nice and more feminine buttons. What I really love about both uh, Gaspar, which is uh, the one I'm wearing, and uh, Barry is that it has like this piece of textile. Um, I don't know how to call it in English. Um, in French, it would be a renfort uh, for its buttons so they don't fall off so easily. Um, yeah, if anyone whose primary language is English um, know how to call this in English, can you please leave it in the comments? Um, and Barry has a V neck. I got it in a crew and I got so in cream color and I got it in lilac. Lilac because it's just my favorite color. It's cream color is because I'm not really a fan of stark white um, and I am also like a light olive skin tone. So there's this warm component to my skin tone um, that makes me <laughs> look better with warmer colors and um, so this was this is a perfect perfect um basic both berry and gaspar they size really big so um i got my usual side for this gaspar and i regret it because it's super huge and the more you wear them and wash them the bigger the larger they become um so i got my berries both of my berries in um um size M. So I sized down and they are really perfect. If you like a more oversized fit, then definitely get your size. Otherwise, size down. Let me know in the comments what your favorite pieces are. If you scored something at the archives and what you think in general of the Cezanne archives, for me, they are the perfect occasions where you can try and buy pieces like those pants. But I don't think I will use the archives anymore to buy um, things like basics or elevated basics um, because you never know how it goes and the returns are a lot slower in their funds etc so um, yeah um, I think from now on I will just um, use the archives to buy things that are on my wish list or have been on my wish list and they are very particular and very pricey. Every piece that is still available on Cezanne will be linked down below. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It would mean the world to me if you help me grow and support me on my YouTube journey. If you want to see more Cezanne reviews, watch this playlist next. Until next time.